Welcome back. Happy, happy new year to every one of you and welcome to the new decade. Um, while we're waiting for the releases of the new decade, I think we should take time and I, I personally want to take time and appreciate the devices that made 2010 to 2019 amazing. There is no doubt that there has been amazing tech releases over the past decade but we can only talk about a few for time's sake and here is my top 10 smartphones like mobile devices overall because i will not just be talking about the smartphones i'll be talking about other phones that made 2010 to 2019 amazing first on my list is the nokia n8 the n8 came out 2010 that's yeah. actually we're so patient that we're using the phone of 256 megabyte of ram like we were so patient back in the days but then it was like the bomb. It was all screen, like most part of it. It was like a huge step from what Nokia is known to be doing. And I'd say yes, that is still in my memory and would never shift off. This is actually not in my top 10 list, but let me just take a few seconds and appreciate the Nokia X2. Yes, a lot of you use the device. It was amazing. Like it was like the BlackBerry, which a lot of us could not afford then. Now, second on my list is the BlackBerry Bold Five. You know, we had a lot of Bold, but one significant one I still would not forget. Like I would never forget is the BlackBerry Bold Five. Like people used Bold Five to that extent where you see that little thing that 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 comes up that pops up when it begins to lag. It was frustrating. But then that device was bomb, like it was it was the thing then. The device actually did better than the Nokia N8 in terms of RAM, but I, then we did not really care about the spec like we use, we do now. A lot of people don't really keep, don't even know what they're using. They just know, oh, this one is nice, people are saying it's nice, and they just use it. But hey, the Bolt 5 was like uh, the Rihanna of phones then. <laughs> It was really, really nice. Bolt 5 was really, really popular back then. I remember using about two of them. It's where the mobile brands begin to step up their game. On my list is the HTC M8. It was released in 2014 and with a RAM of 2 gig. But honestly, then it didn't feel like 2 gig. It's because it was fast. There is a lot to say about this device in particular because it's, it's what other device copied from you know it had this um i have my own thing going on for me look it was just different you know it came it came out with this curved back that sits perfectly and gently into your hands that's my number three my number four and number five are two phones from the same brand samsung s6 and the s it. Why I mentioned the S6 is because the S6 changed the game, like it changed how we use our phones. It changed the camera, it changed the look of the device. That aluminium feel around it was just amazing. The glass at the back, remembering how good it felt holding the S6. The fingerprint, the only, the only downside we had then was the battery. I think the battery wasn't that great but overall the device was like a huge stepping stone for samsung and then we have we also have the s8 which was like a game changer you know when the when the perfected the curve screen of the s7 edge i say we've been enjoying the look on the that the curved screen so i don't think samsung will be doing away with that anytime soon okay that's for that's the fifth one i have to acknowledge the techno phantom like the very first phantom that phone was like we just arrived for techno when somebody when somebody announces their arrival that was what techno did with the phantom it was a game changer for them people always um criticize techno for their not so great phones because their phones don't really last i used the techno phantom for like say almost a year because i don't like using phones for too long but i used the phone for almost a year i even gave it out and the person i gave it to used it for even more than a year and it lasted till i don't know what happened to the device but that should be my sixth now the seventh eighth and the ninth device 
is the Apple iPhone 5, 7, and X. Now, why I choose the iPhone 5 was it shrinked the wide, that bulgy screen. It shrinked it into something narrow, yet yeah, flat. The iPhone 5 was a game changer. I remember begging someone to swap my iPhone 4S that I just got that same day for an iPhone 5 iPhone 5 was a game changer and also the 6 as well but for time's sake I can only mention 10 devices so I'm choosing this major 3 from Apple the 5, the 7 and the X the X was the, was the beginning of um, the all screen while the 7 Plus was the first Apple phone with dual camera it sold massively yes it sold massively everyone loved it i loved it you loved it and it's still selling yeah people are still buying it new in countries where it's available to buy in new ones i think some people even prefer the iphone 7 plus over the iphone 8 plus for some reason okay yeah i think it's because the iphone 7 is metallic okay is aluminium all over it all over and you got glass at the back of the 8 plus so i think that's why people prefer the iphone 7 because people be like oh, okay it does the same thing it has the same camera it's just a little bit of um a little step up from what we had on the iphone 7 plus so people preferred the iphone 7 plus and the iphone x was a huge game changer i think after the, after iphone x uh iphone has never done any device except from the iphone se They've never done any device after iPhone X that has bezels like the previous device used to have. And last but not the least, my number 10. The last device is the Nokia 3310. Like, wow, you guys have to give it up for Nokia. Like, they brought back the champ, like the destroyer, the tank <laughs> they brought. They literally brought back the strongest phone of all time you know they brought back that thing that your mom will stone you with and be like oh the 3310 brought back memories there are lots of other phones but i actually didn't get the chance to use all of them all right guys that is all i have for you for today you have been watching tech mayo don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i will see you in the next one